Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Animation Basics for Scientists and in this episode I'm going to go over a selection of some of my favourite online resources that you can use to get amazing high quality content for free to get started with making your own animated videos. Whether you're after high resolution images, HD video or a selection of millions of vector graphics, check out the following top 10 resources for your next project. So first up is the Noun Project and this is probably one of my all-time personal favourites. It has over 3 million icons available, free to download and use under a Creative Commons license. The amount of topics that's covered is absolutely incredible, everything from chemistry to neurology to sociology. And I often use many of these icons in combination with one another. You can download them as PNG files or you can download them as SVG files and then import them into Illustrator where you can then modify them, change the colours, etc, etc. They all come as black silhouettes but you can modify everything in Illustrator. Pricing wise, it's one of the few that I've ever actually paid for. You actually get an amazing discount as being an educator, whether that's a student or an educational staff. Pretty amazing value considering a lot of subscription services this day and age as between sort of 10 to $40 a month. Definitely one of my all time favorites. Next up is Vecteasy, another amazing resource uh, for online free material, whether that be vectors, photographs, or videos, which is pretty incredible. Again, the diversity of stuff that's available on Vecteasy is pretty much sort of eye-watering. Um, one of the nice features on Vecteasy is that you can actually filter by those options that are free, um, so that you can only sort of view the ones that are licensed under their free license. This isn't a Creative Commons license, this is their own free license, so do just be sure to read the particular agreement, but like Creative Commons license, uh, most of them appear to be just to make sure that you correctly attribute the author or the creator. Uh, which considering the variety of stuff that you get to use for free is pretty amazing and totally okay. Pricing wise, like most of these now, they do have a subscription service so you can pay to not have to attribute the particular creators if you want to, um, but this can get quite expensive I find. Also on Vecteasy you can download videos and photos as I mentioned before for free. Again, you can filter by their free license which is pretty amazing. And some of the quality of the video and photo footage on this website is really incredible. I mean, you've even got the option of 4K footage there for particular items. Obviously, it's a bit hit and miss what you get, but generally with a bit of sort of spark of creativity, I'm sure you'll be able to find something that you can use in your own project. Another one of my huge favourite here is Unsplash. Amazing for really high quality video and high quality pictures. Completely free to use, no attribution, no licence, no payment, no nothing. Just they ask if you wish to credit the author, that's greatly received, but it just means that you can use it in your projects without having to worry about attribution if you don't want to. And again, just to reiterate, I think the quality of some of the imagery and some of the videos that are available on this site are really impressive. You can also choose from large, medium or small on a lot of pictures as well, and a real sort of wealth of different topics to cover. So there's normally something on this particular website that you'll be able to find um, to fit your project. Loads of different categories at the top as well to be, do a bit of exploring if you wanted to try and find something. Uh, but you weren't really sort of sure what you wanted, but you're looking for a bit of inspiration. So definitely a big thumbs up for Unsplash. Love this website. Next up is Philopic. This is for mostly for biologists, I think, this one. Um, it effectively is silhouettes of loads of different taxa across pretty much every kingdom of diversity on Earth. Um, obviously not everything's on there, but it's pretty amazing the variety of animals that are on there and often artists upload their contributions for free and these contributions can be used in any of your projects. Do just check as ever the Creative Commons license that it's licensed under though. The other nice thing about Philopic is I'm sure I saw somewhere recently that it's actually been now linked into R so you can import particular images into your from Philopic into your figures and graphs in R. Uh, I haven't actually looked into how this works just yet, but it's on my to-do list to learn how to do, and then hopefully I'll post a video on it so we can maybe incorporate an exported Philopic image in a figure and then animate that in After Effects at some point. So maybe one to keep out an eye out for. Next on our hit this is BioRender. Uh, BioRender is an incredibly professional looking service, actually, I have to admit. A lot of the options that are available um, and a lot of the graphics that are available through BioRender look really top notch. I mean, highly professional, the kind of stuff you see in science and nature publications. I've actually never used BioRender myself, but it looks like it's particularly well aligned, for example, to biomedical students or those people working in more medical professions and want to use sort of uh, After Effects to animate some particular graphics that they've got for their research. 
The payment plans I think are quite expensive. There is a free option to sign up, but there's a limited number of downloads. But there's other features on this website which are pretty interesting as well, where they have an interactive infographic creator where you can use their objects and images in order to create your own infographics. So next up is Pixabay. Uh, Pixabay is a lot like Unsplash, I think, in that it has a lot of um, free photos and videos uh, available to use, most of them without attribution. Some of them require attribution, so just make sure you're, again, you're checking the license of individual items that you want to use. Um, I actually think Unsplash is a little bit better, but this just might be a uh, personal use, but ultimately another amazing free resource to use. So if you can't find what you're looking for on Unsplash, here's a really good place to come to look for illustrations, graphic vectors, videos and pictures. Next up is FreePick and a lot like Vecteasy, you can select vectors, pictures, photos, videos. Uh, it's a pretty diverse, all-encompassing option. So if you can't find what you want on Vecteasy, check out FreePick. I think they're reasonably similar to each other. Both have their own licensing agreements, but both of these license agreements appear to be similar. You can both filter on FreePick as you can on Vecteasy for items that are free to use as long as you're attributing the author correctly. And again, there's a real wide variety of stuff that you can use. And we'll be looking at how we can use the particular downloaded items from online resources like Vecteasy and FreePick in Illustrator and then bringing them into After Effects in other episodes. So stay tuned for that. Next amazing free online resource is Pexels. Pexels is a lot like Unsplash uh, in that it has free pictures and free videos, a really high quality, really high resolution, and all available to use free without attribution or credit to the author. Of course, they ask if um, you're willing to give it. It's always a nice thing to do, but it's really nice again to know that you don't necessarily have to do it in your project. So again, an excellent and amazing resource. If you can't find what you want in Unsplash, check out Pexels. And similarly, if you can't find anything on Pexels, check out Unsplash. I think between the two of them, you can really cover a great deal of your sort of multimedia project needs if you're looking at more sort of video and picture rather than vectors and sort of vector graphics. Saxifraga is the next one on our list. Uh, this one's a bit of a wild card. I've only come across it recently, uh, but it seems like an incredible resource again for biologists. It seems to have loads of accurately scientifically named pictures of organisms from multiple kingdoms. Uh, I think it's all free to use. Um, the small thumbnails here are available to download for free. And I think if you need a higher resolution image, it appears from a brief look at their licensing agreement that you can just get in touch with them and ask them for it and they'll provide it to you. So if you're sort of a biologist, pretty amazing resource to look at and sort of check out if you're after pictures of your particular species, if maybe you weren't able to get any in a, on a field trip. Last option we're going to explore today is a, an audio option where you can find lots of free pieces of uh, royalty free music for you to use in your projects. Um, there are particular license agreements, again they just require attribution most of the time but I haven't used it specifically but this looks like an amazing resource for future projects of mine that I'm really keen to check out because as I said royalty free music and all you have to do is provide attribution in the credits at the end of your video. Looks like an incredible resource um, and so that's our kind of like music shout out. Uh, also check out YouTube, does have some free music for you to use and sound clips, so do check that out as well. So I hope that was useful, thanks for tuning in and don't forget to like and subscribe and stay up to date with all of our latest tutorials and tips.